Hello my demon and welcome to the best Shaco guides for season 14 that you will find on YouTube. I'll try to make this as quick as possible, so if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section down below. Let's get started. So first off for the Aegis Shaco runes, always take Halo Blades, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Relentless Hunter. Then the secondary page is Preference, I take Absolute Focus with Gathering Storm. Then for the shards, take Attack Speed, Adaptive and the Scaling HP one. Now for the AP Shaker runes, Dark Harvest always, Cheap Shot. Cheap Shot is a bit bugged on Shaco, but it's still the best choice. Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter. Then the secondary page is less preference because you want Transcendence for the Haste. AP Shaco loves Haste. Then take Gathering Storm. Then for the Shards take Attack Speed, Adaptive and Scaling HP one. There are a few people going the Haste chart, but I like the Attack Speed more for in the early game and early skirmishes. Because even if you go AP Shaco, you are still an auto attack based champion early on. Now for the AD Shaco items. Always take Blue Pet, it has insane value and it lets you reach your targets easier and Q. I skip the health potion, especially after the last um, jungle clear buffs. You don't need anymore, your clear is more than healthy enough. Then for your first item, if you are snowballing, I would go for Humus. It lets you zoom all over the map, it's a cheap item and it has a nice build path. If you wanna go for Humus first, uh, try to get a Dirk on your first base, it's 1k gold. If not, I would go for Profin Hydra. It gives all the stats Shaco wants. It's probably Shaco's best item. If you are going for Hydra, try to get Tiamat on your first base. If you don't have enough gold for either Dirk or Tiamat, then just grab a longsword and brown boots. Or you can grab uh, two longswords depending on what you prefer. There are also some people just rushing uh, Dirks on their first base. But keep in mind Zerg's got nerfed this patch, so I wouldn't do that anymore. But if you like it, you can go for it. After you build Yumus first item, you can go for Profane Hydra. If you, if you didn't go Yumus first and you went Profane first, I usually go Opportunity after. But you can still get Yumus afterwards. It's a bit uh, depending on your preference and what you think you need for the game. Uh, whatever you choose. I would always go Cyril Das Dirt because it will give you consistently the most damage uh, possible as a third item. Then as a fourth item I usually get Edge of Night because it's a really nice item to have. It gives you a spell shield against CC. But if you feel like you don't need Edge of Night you can always get uh, Humus and Opportunity in the same build. I also have Serpent's Fang here as a situational item. I don't like building this item, but if you are for example against uh, a barrier of Helios with Bloodthirster and Lulu support next to him, it's probably a good choice to get Serpent's Fang. But only get Serpent's Fang after you have built your first two items. Don't go, don't be rushing Serpent's Fang, obviously, but I'm just gonna state it for for the newbies out there. <laughs> then I have put Bork in here because since Shaco is an auto attack, auto attack based champion, all your damage comes from auto attacks. Bork is, a, is still a huge value item and the on hit damage will get buffed to 10% current HP next patch. Plus uh, the on hit damage also gets amped by all the vitality you have. So on your first 2 or 3 Hill of Blades auto attacks, you will apply the 10% on hit from Bork, which is probably the most damage output you can get. But of course, it's an expensive item, so depending on the game and whether you feel like you need it or not, you can also just complete your build with having Humus and Opportunity and Edge of Night in the same build. Uh, usually what the full build looks like for me is Profane Hydra first, into Opportunity, into Cerildas, into Edge of Night, and then I finish off with Bork. Just to give you an example 
of a full build. Uh, if you manage to get there late game, never upgrade your boots to Zephyr. Zephyr is a bait item. I would just sell Zurix for Phantom Dancer. It gives you way more attack speed, it gives you 12% movement speed, so you won't be losing much. And then you have the chance to uh, crit on your auto attacks as well. Okay, now for the AP Shaco build, I take Red Pet. It's up to you whether you take Red Pet or Blue Pet, but I feel like Red Pet has this light edge over Blue Pet on AP Shaco. Then once again you can skip the potion. Now for your first item, you wanna be rushing Spear of Shojin. It lets you play like AD Shaco early game. And uh, once completed, combined with CDR boots and Transcendence, you will be sitting at almost 40% CDR, which lets you transition into AP items perfectly afterwards. Uh, also, one box can fully stack uh, Spear passive, and this also works on jungle camps. Um, for your first base, depending on your gold, you can either get a pickaxe and brown boots, or two long swords, or one long sword and brown boots, uh, just to give you some ideas. Once Spear of Shojin is completed, uh, complete your boots into CDR boots. And then every game, as a second item, you want to go for Lyandris. If you have enough gold for it, uh, grab Hunting Guys. If not, you can go for Faded Ashes or an M-Tome, or two M-Tomes, or one M-Tome, and Dark Seal. Once again, depending on how much gold you have. I like to go Dark Seal every single game, because as AP Shaco you are really hard to kill, so it's easy to maintain your stacks. And once you have enough stacks, upgrade your Dark Seal into a Magi's. Now, for your third item, I either get Malignance or Crit Bloom. Both are really nice, um, depending on enemy team's magic resist, get crit bloom before malignance, otherwise go malignance into crit bloom. That's usually what I go, but if you have a fully stacked magis, going for a death cap uh, can be insane value. Then situationally I also have Zonyas in here and Morellos. Um, I don't like building Zonyas that much anymore after the... Uh, change in build path and cost, but it can still be a nice item for AP Shaco situationally to stall for your Q. And then Morellos, um, if you really need anti heal and nobody on your team wants to buy it, just grab an Oblivion Orb early on and sit on it, because the uh, anti heal percentage doesn't increase when you upgrade to Morellos, it's the exact same. And obviously, only uh, gets Oblivion Orb once you have completed at least your first two items. And then late game, if still nobody on your team has, has anti-heal, you can upgrade your Oblivion Orb to Morello. But I really am against Morello, I hate this item. Now, um, on AP Shaco, I wouldn't sell your boots or Spear of Shojin late game. Um, I did some testing and the value of Spear is way too valuable. Um, perhaps it can be nice, it can be good to sell your boots for Cosmic Drive. I haven't tried that yet, but I think that can be uh, an option. But apart from that, I wouldn't really sell anything. Um, so yeah, that's it for AP Shaco. So I have covered everything now. Now for the skill order. For AD Shaco, you want to put 2 to 3 points in your W for Jungle Clear. And then you want to max your uh, E ability afterwards. For AP Shaco, you want to put 3 or 5 points in W and then max your E. Uh, for Jungle Clear, just look at my YouTube channel and my other videos. Uh, you will find plenty of Jungle Clears there. Um, and yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like and comment for the algo. And I'll see you in my next video.